Hello everyone, well, we've got another firearm that you may not be quite as familiar with as uh, some of the more common variants of the single action army. This, uh, this gun is known, it's got one of the longest names out there uh, that I know of. It's the, it's uh, the importer is EMF. It's an Italian gun. This one, as you can see, made by Pieta or Pieta, made in Italy, however you pronounce that. If I, sorry for my mispronunciations. Um, and you can see EMF is listed on there. Now, uh, this is known as the Great EMF, Great Western 2, Deluxe, Alchemista. Um, all those uh, terms looks like we've got a loose uh, guide rod there uh, the or rather extractor tube is a little loose on it it's a brand new gun I haven't owned it more than a few weeks but uh, I did, again my firearm collection is liquid and this is one I uh, sold a couple of firearms to purchase so so we could take a look at this now this is the gun that never existed colt never built a gun like this one it's not a replica of anything other than loosely it's a uh, single action army chambered 45 colt uh, great western was a company uh, some time ago that existed that built uh, firearms in the single action category just like uh, using Colt as a as a guide course and John Wayne actually in his movies didn't carry Colt he carried a Great Western now he didn't carry this one of course as were more traditional such as uh, such as what we have here with the round barrel um, the smaller grips but let's let's go over that what are some of the differences and what makes this such a unique firearm besides the engraving and the importer and, and and its name this firearm has obviously you can see right off the bat the uh, the octagon barrel on it uh, Colt never did that on a single action army also it has larger grips that stands out right away too these uh you can if i hold the uh, the original up you can see they're quite a bit larger makes it more of a shooter's type gun kind of a bisley style but yet retaining the shape of the uh original colt style grips the uh the grips on these are uh, a bonded stag these are an option from emf um, quite an expensive option i might add but uh, these came installed from my dealer so they were exceptionally well priced um, i believe they're in the neighborhood of uh, 250 to 300 dollars i'm i think closer to 300 if i remember right on these grips if you order them from their website but uh, i don't know if they would be worth it if it didn't come with it on the firearm uh, some other differences uh, you can see right away the hammer is got a flattened widened and uh, dropped contour uh, much uh, more geared towards the uh, competition type shooter makes for a much more pleasant action of grabbing that uh, that hammer to cock it and it's got a widened trigger the trigger is still offset just like on the uh, the original Colt design I don't know if you can see up in there but the trigger is actually not centered in the frame it's quite a bit off and uh, with the wider trigger it's a little more centered a little more comfortable makes for again for a great shooting firearm other than that the rest of the firearm is pretty much straightforward single action army uh, they have an exceptionally good action as uh, the Italians do great 
work on their firearms anymore. It, it does have the uh, the four four click um, type that you would expect from a Colt. Some of the more modern ones don't have that uh, four click action in them. You can see it's laser engraved, um, so nothing real special there. Just adds some flair to the firearm. Uh, an exceptionally light trigger pull. Uh, I would estimate it to be in the three pound range, probably. Um, somewhat heavier than my well used uh, Cimarron Frontier here, um, which probably has maybe a, a two and a half pound pull, if that. Exceptionally light, uh, almost to the point it needs to be worked on a little bit. But very good uh, very good action on it these these uh, these uh, nothing wrong with these Italian firearms so there we have it just a quick look at a unique um, firearm haven't had a chance yet to shoot it to tell you how it does but kind of wanted to show you an unusual brand name and configuration in a single action army uh, should prove to be a great firearm so anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time with some more unusual and interesting firearms.